In this example video, we're going to look at review exercise 1113, which is dealing with calculating depletion, um, the depletion rate, and the depletion expense for the year. So at the beginning of year one, it tells us that our company purchased land of, for $1.5 million and expects to extract 800,000 tons of minerals. The estimated residual value is $250,000. So that, again, they want us to calculate the unit's depletion rate and assume that they extracted 25,000 tons in year one, what would be the depletion for year one? So this is very similar to an activity-based method that you use for depreciation. You're gonna calculate a rate. That rate is gonna be consistent over the life of that um, asset, and then we multiply it by what was actually used of that asset. So our unit depletion rate is our cost minus that residual value divided by its useful life in units. So for us, we had $1.5 million in cost. We think we can sell it for $250,000 at the end of its life, and we think our end life is 800,000 tons. So our depletion rate is $1.56 per ton. And again, that rate is not going to change over the life of the asset. So our depletion for year one is going to be our rate of $1.56 multiplied by the 25,000 tons that we've extracted. So in total, $39,000 in depletion expense. 